Reporting live from Sunnyside Beach for the 2023 Holy Bear Dip. It's live from last week, episode 106. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today, after getting off my fourth night shift in a span of five nights, because the staff was working a holiday shift, each one of us got the special $12 meal voucher to use at the hospital's cafeteria. And well, as a tradition, I usually go to the Aroma restaurant in the food court and order what's called a power breakfast. Anyways, after doing a quick post-night shift nap this afternoon, I traveled all the way to Curtis to visit my parents and deliver them some Christmas gifts, including this nice bouquet of holiday flowers that the wife got my parents for the holidays. I need a bell for Christmas next year. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> we also got my dad to open up his Christmas slash early birthday present. Oh, cigars from Cuba. From Cuba. Toronto Raptors. This is different. This time, all right. You know once again, basketball. <laughs> and you Raptors. have the right shirt Raptors. too. Raptors. And now, speaking of birthdays, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends that I haven't seen in over a year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ravi. Happy birthday, Ravi. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But again, another reason why I'm visiting my parents tonight is because I haven't seen them over the holidays yet, and I gave a promise to them that I'll treat them out to a dinner and show. So tonight, for the first time since this scene from a Live From Last Week episode in the past, we're heading to the Portly Piper Pub in Oshawa. Here, this one's for you, Nika. This one's for you. Then taking them to this surprise show, which last month I went to with one of my friends, Shaughnessy, treating them out to a local professional wrestling event called Seasons Beating. Yo, last time I was in Oshawa watching the wrestling show, I saw this guy perform, and I'm back to see him perform again. <laughs> Yo, El Diablo, Gabriel Fuerza. Next time, I'm gonna buy a shirt. <laughs> yeah, hold me to it. Yeah, hold me to it, man. Yo, I'm here at the GCW event with the Iron Cowboy. Iron Cowboy, Gunner Lang. I'm about to grant my friend here the rank of honorary cowboy. So today, after waking up pretty early and basically sitting on my butt all day working on some Live From Last Week video, I was inspired by how fit and in shape all those pro wrestlers were at the wrestling show yesterday. And since it's the end of the year, I also decided to look at some of my 2022 New Year's resolutions that I haven't got around to doing. And so, with the whole day off, I'm thinking that I might check off this challenge off the list. Which you guys can see here is the Murphy Challenge. Where I'm planning to run a mile, then do 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, and 300 squats. Before wrapping the whole thing up with another mile run. 
which if you were to do the full out challenge, you do it carrying combat gear or a 20 pound weighted vest. But since I'm out of shape, I think just doing the challenge without a vest or any weights should suffice. So here I go guys and wish me luck. All right guys, finish lap one at six, three minutes to finish this lap. I'm so out of shape. 10 minutes and 20 seconds, one more lap, and then I get to do the exercises. All right, finished my mile in 13 minutes and 55 seconds. Now it's time to go do the exercises. I'm tired. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of shape in terms of pull-ups. Not gonna lie, I think I strained my lat and my oblique. I don't think I'll be able to continue with this. But I made up to 30 sets, and let's finish this off with my last mile run. So after not being able to finish doing the Murph this afternoon, I have a couple of pieces of advice for you guys out there. Number one, to prevent injuries during exercise. You guys already know this, but be sure to stretch and warm up. And second piece of advice for you guys is that doing the Murph is no joke. And a guy like me just simply can't go straight from the couch to doing and finishing this workout. But anyways, getting that out of the way, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out, going out to one of my friends who I attended the wedding in Hamilton several years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Din Din. Happy birthday, Anna. And we've also got a birthday shout out to her twin, who I once went to the office pub to do some karaoke with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Don Don. Happy birthday, Ariel. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now, being back at home to relax, I've yet another reason why I didn't push myself too hard during that Murphy workout. Do you guys remember last month when I went to activate for my nephew's birthday? Well, tonight, my nephew and my cousins have invited me out to yet another late night session at Activate. So, after taking this quick nap at the condo, I am both recharged and refreshed to do yet another session with the cousins and the nephew at Scarborough's Activate. Yo, stretch, Jonas, stretch. This guy is sponsored by Activate. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> She's colorblind! <laughs> so guys, to be honest, today I'm feeling so sore. Because y'all know that yesterday I had the most physical activity and exercise that I've had in quite a long time. So even though I was able to catch up on quite a bit of sleep last night, Today is going to be a nice, relaxing, lazy day on the couch before I go in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts. But yeah, it's time to head back to the couch once again and take a quick pre-night shift nap before I go in for work tonight. And I'll just see y'all tomorrow. Guys, it's that time of year again where we see if we completed our New Year's goals from 2022. Speaking of which, although yesterday was a rest day, I was actually restless and tried to knock off the goal of learning a Just Dance routine before I had my dinner and my night shift last night. And after hours of practicing this Just Dance routine of BTS's Dynamite, I switched YouTube videos and started to learn the actual choreography of that dance from a different YouTuber. And coming off a of night shift this morning, taking my usual post-night shift nap, I was unable to stay asleep, only sleeping for this much time this afternoon. So I decided to get up and get back to practicing that BTS dynamite dance routine until I got more confident with this tricky K-pop choreo before I go in for my second night shift tonight. I too was reminded by my work license buddy Sarah that the deadline to renew my license in order to work next year was soon approaching. So I definitely got that baby done this evening. Thanks again, Sarah. And speaking of work, one of my coworkers worked the last night shift with me coming off the shift 
this morning. Hey, Faith Joy. Hey. My last shift working with her because she's off to new adventures. Peace out, dudes. Any last words? Thank you for everything. Mm. Um, yeah, thank you. It was awesome working with you. All right, thanks, cuz. Bye. Bye. Take care. Honestly, it was really great working with you, Faith Joy, and I wish you nothing but the best for the future. I also wanted to mention that I got this pretty cool package in the mail for the wife and my first year wedding anniversary from my Manang Ed and my Manang Meraby. Yo! What I wanted on my Christmas list. Nero needs a friend! <laughs> Woo! Thanks Manang Ed! Thanks Manang Meraby! And as I wrap up things for today, we got birthday greetings to a Canadian friend of mine who I met in LA while we were going clubbing with my cousin JJ Pasco. This birthday shout out goes out to you Morgan. Happy birthday Morgan. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who's a baseball fan and who with us enjoyed watching former Blue Jay, Brett Laurie play. This birthday greeting goes out to you Carla. Happy birthday Carla. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my CAY sick friends who, back in the day, used to run improv workshops. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jeremy. Happy birthday, Jeremy. And finally, a birthday shout out to my sister-in-law, who is one of the greatest people I have ever popped a bottle of champagne with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Caroline. Happy birthday, Caroline. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night after traveling to work in higher than normal temperatures outside, I did my last night shift of 2022 weighing myself on the weighing scale in order to see what kind of progress I will make on my weight in 2023. Which also reminded me that after coming home and taking a quick post night shift nap of Less than an hour. I was just too excited that today is New Year's Eve and I got to review all the goals that I set for myself over the past year for 2022. So let's go see just how well I did. <laughs> Unfortunately, after completing only 50% of my goals over the past year, I'm going to strive to do better to complete these top 10 goals that I have for myself for 2023. Which this year will include learning the alphabet in Morse code, researching on how to become a professional wrestler referee, being able to converse more than 30 seconds in two other languages other than English, donate three of my prized personal possessions, go to a restaurant that I've always wanted to go to but have never been before, Go from the bottom tier of the bronze level in Duolingo to finishing first overall in the Diamond League. Call in sick at least once during this year for a mental health day for myself. Pay off the rest of the mortgage for this condo. Take my weight and my body measurements at the end of 2022 and compare them to the weight and body measurements that I have at the end of 2023. And last but not least, scratch off the lifetime bucket list item of doing the New Year's Day Polar Bear Dip. Of which the sister and I are already on our way doing because we just signed up for this event late last night. But yeah, before we go on to our New Year's Eve celebrations tonight, we have a birthday greeting to one of my volleyball friends out there, Lizbeth. Happy birthday, Liz. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends in Chicago that I know through my other friend, Paulo. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to an FCAR alumni that I haven't seen since my university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ramos. Happy birthday, Erin. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, on to tonight, where unfortunately, the wife had to call in sick to work because she was feeling a little under the weather. So for New Year's, we got her some Kibo Sushi, of which you guys can tell that the torched salmon sushi was amazing. But now, unfortunately for her, after watching several celebrations of New Year's around the globe and here in North America, I gotta leave the wife at home so that she can recover and get well soon. <coughs> yeah. And so, I guess I'll just have to go out and party with my cousins at 52 for New Year's Eve.
first of all, I want to wish everybody out there a happy new year. Welcome to 2023, guys. So, after a fun time at 52 last night, where my cousin Faye shook a $50 mini bottle of champagne. <laughs> Don't you feel like a millionaire? <laughs> I do. Not knowing that it was Vove. And my mom telling her that it was very expensive. <laughs> it's expensive? Yeah. I sh I'll let it settle a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and also bringing me flashbacks of my wedding day. I decided to help my cousin out and open this bottle of champagne for her in my Zoom costume party attire. So would you feel like a million bucks if like you drink it and then spit it out? <laughs> or that's what I did for my wedding. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. This is for my wife! Happy New Woo! Year! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna get okay, it. Go, go, go. Go gotta get catch some. it. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That was 50 bucks right there. It's all in your eye. It's all in my eyes and my eyes. <laughs> and the floor. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, babe. where's your pants? Yo, where's my pants? Where's my pants? <laughs> Anyways, today we're at Sunnyside Beach in Toronto to scratch off our first New Year's goal of 2023. By doing the fundraiser for Child and Youth Advocacy Center, New Year's Day 2023 Polar Bear Dip. After an amazing time at the beach this morning, taking photos and videos with random polar bear dip participants. On the legs! Success! Woo! Success! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> we also got another view of the action with the Sisters GoPro. <laughs> And after showering up and checking in with the wife at the condo and her saying that she's still under the weather, Nika, Andrew and I headed into Oshawa to visit a Vietnamese restaurant that we've been to in a previous Live From Last Week episode to meet up with my parents and go out to lunch with them before doing the ritual of going out to bubble tea with Andrew while he's still in town. Three, two, one. That's a cheers. cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Then of course, dropping off both Andrew and Nika to the Oshawa train station so that they can catch their VIA train back to Ottawa. And now, before I go back to the condo and catch up on some rest, because I only got this much sleep last night, staying up late till early this morning, opening up some Christmas presents that we haven't got to opening yet. I'm heading over to the nearby St. Maria Goretti Catholic Church to catch the New Year's edition of Sunday Night Catholic Mass. 
So basically, I'm not running on any real sleep today, but instead, literally just staying awake on a couple of little naps, editing live from last week videos until late last night slash early this morning, and continuing to do that today from sunrise until sunset. While also finishing one of our favorite shows, watching the series finale of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, as well as resuming from a couple weeks back and finishing season four of Netflix's Too Hot to Handle. But before we try to catch up on some lost sleep over this past busy week, as well as make a dent on the leftovers that are left in my fridge from over the holidays, including this huge turkey leg from Adobe's New Year's turkey, we have a quick birthday greeting to my Ninong Drake. Happy birthday, Ninong. As well as a birthday shout out to my nephew who has made several cameos on previous Live From Last Week videos. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jared. Happy birthday, Blueberry. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But alas, I guess it's time to wrap up this week's busy New Year's episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.